In this video, we'll take a look at how to use Photoshop to show the progress of your digital paintings in a series of images like I have here. So what you can see is it starts with the sketch, I add my flat colors, I add a few more layers here and there, and I really just build it up until it finally looks as realistic as I want it to, and this is the finished piece over here on the right. Now I have a folder with all of my save files here, and the way I like to work is I like to save a lot while I'm working, so I have my sketch file like you saw, and all these other layers that eventually end on the final result. So what I've done is I've just singled out three, and we're gonna make what's called a triptych, which is a Greek word for threefold. So we're just gonna have three little panels here. Now before we import these into Photoshop, let's jump over to Photoshop, and let's go ahead and define the size of our triptych. So let's go to New, and let's go ahead and make this 1920 by 1080 pixels, but you could really make it any size you want. And then I'm going to go back to my folder, which has my images here. I'm going to select all three of them, and I'm just going to drag them and drop them onto that new composition. And I'm just going to click the check to make sure they import, or you could hit enter. And now if we want to go ahead and resize them all, we can select them all together by holding shift, and then you can use the keyboard shortcut of control T to invoke free transform. And then if you hold shift, it's very important to hold shift, you can scale them down without squashing them. And... Yeah, they almost fit. So I'm going to select all three of them, Control T, I'm going to hold Shift, and this time I'm going to hold Alt. If you hold Alt while holding Shift, you can scale them down from the center. That just makes it so you do a little less work by having to constantly reposition them if they're already centered. And if you hold Shift, you can move it and constrain it to the horizontal axis. That keeps it from accidentally moving up. And let's just move this one over. You can also just put them on the ends here, and then you can select all three of them, and you can choose distribute from vertical centers, and that will automatically distribute them from each other. So this one with the sketch is kind of hard to see because it doesn't have a background like the other ones, and that looks a little inconsistent. So let's add a stroke by clicking on FX, stroke, and if you want to position it inside, you can. I think that looks a little better, and you can change the stroke size, and you can change the stroke color right here, but I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then if you want to copy and paste that stroke onto the other layers, you can right click on the layer that has the stroke and you can choose copy layer style that will copy that stroke. And then you can select both of these other layers and you can paste the layer style. Now I can see that this layer here is too high. So I'm just gonna drag it down with the move tool and you'll see that it will snap. And just to make sure they're still lined up, I'll go ahead and align them. Now these need to be centered within the page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them with Control G, and then I'm going to drag that group wherever I want it. It should kind of snap to the center, but if you really want to make sure it's centered, hold Shift and select the background, and then you can choose to center it on the background. So now it's perfectly centered on the page. Let's say I want to move it up just a little bit. I'm going to hold Shift while I move it up to leave me some room to put maybe my name down here. And then the nice thing about Photoshop CC, the newest version here, is that you get this guide that helps you line stuff up. So that little pink line was showing me that that's the center of the document, and it just kind of snaps there. And maybe I'll use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move that down a little bit. And I think I'll also add my website. So I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and drag down with the Move tool, and I'm also going to hold Shift to make sure it constrains on that axis there. Now I have a duplicate that's perfectly lined up. That saves me the time of having to line it up again later. I'm going to put in my website address. And let's use Control T to free transform it, and we can nudge it up with the keyboard with the arrow keys. So there you go, that's how you can show the progress of your artwork by making a triptych. And don't forget to check out my free webinar with Corel Painter on March 14th, 2015. I'll show you how to paint this mushroom from beginning to end and answer your questions live on air. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday for another Photoshop tutorial.